Good afternoon, everyone. I am back. Happy Sunday to us all. Hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Uh, where you left us off last is we basically did the end of season summary and we are now on the transfer uh, window, summer transfer window. Uh, let me just sell that clause. I thought Darren Roy was one of our own, but he wasn't. We signed him. I forgot about that. We signed him for four million from Sheffield Wednesday, but if we sell him for like 14, 15 million, we're still making good money off him. Um, let's see if there's any other clauses we can cash out at some point. No, not, not worth it really. Right. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so it's the 1st of January. So um, we'll just quickly go through any players that we've signed or sold. No. So, yep. Yeah, so now we just crack on with it. Um, we've got a few players that are going out the window. Uh, we've got one one or two coming in. Braz is gone. We had an offer for Diojek or whatever his name is. Coetzee's going in. Right. Let's see if any of these are worth signing. Maybe Chowdhury. Uh, I don't think there's anybody else really worth signing, but we'll scout them anyway. I will, of course, look at the free transfer market in a second, actually, as there's been probably quite a few players released. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Scouting. Players. Get rid of that. Right, scout by this. I'm not going to go crazy because when I, I signed like Jesse Lingard and that didn't work out, so I probably won't sign anybody. But it's just cool to look to see if there's anybody. Uh, he, the scouts rate him. So we'll look to bring him in. I might be wrong actually. It might be the 1st of July when all the players get released from their contracts. Yeah, I think it's the 1st of July. Let's just click on that. Jay Tyndale. Okay. Tinsdale. Uh, Blase Berg Johnson. Oh, he'd be a very good signing for us. Only wants thirteen grand. Granted, he's only got he's got a minimum fee though of three point eight though. But yeah, you know, it didn't cost us anything, so we might be able to get him on a new contract. Child would be a good signing as well. Uh, Ole Martin Kolskagun. Kolskagun. Right, I think that's it now. We'll leave that for now. Yeah, we'll leave that for now. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I'm all bunged up and I've had an itchy face. Not a good start. Oh, great. We've got people after Bruce. Sign him a new contract. Right, Yuan's gone. Have we got any office room? Yeah, yeah. Right. Ch -ch -ch. 
think I figured out what went wrong with the face pack by the way I'm just extracting from one folder to the other hopefully that'll fix it but it's going to take up apparently according to this about just under an hour to sort out so you never know by the end of this episode we might be able to check uh, right David Fletcher will send you out on loan Rocco's gone Oh God, I'll be gutted if we can't keep Boyano. I'm hoping the work permit issue is sorted though. Got quite a few decent loan offers for our youth players. Right, let's try selling him again. For some of his wage to entice people. Coatsy has had a few offers, so we don't need to worry about him. Has no loan offers. Can we send him to one of our affiliates? Probably won't go. Okay. Can we get any more scouts in? No, I just saw. Uh, he's he's pretty good. Ah, oh, that's good. Ayano has had his work permit uh, accepted, so we've got him here. Done really well. Probably our player of the season with Bar last season. Over Femi, uh, proposed loan extension. Oh, that's why, because they're still on loan. We've got to wait for these to come back off loan. All right. See how we get on now. Right. Longoni's got his work permit uh, accepted. Signed Jay Tinsdale, who you used to play for him. Former Sheffield United and Bradford player. Probably won't do well for us actually in hindsight. Send him out on loan. Scouts are a bit deceiving. They make it sound like he's a really good player worth signing. And then you sign him and he goes from three like four stars or potential to three star potential. It's very frustrating. He's 
Is he any better than what we've got right now? We'll soon find out. Some of these are bringing back memories from Mod Pass. Look at Louis, Louis Boa Morte. Oh, there's a helicopter hovering around. Uh, Dario Cerna. Paulo Ferreira. Tim Boreski. Where I live, there's a lot of idiots out there, so the police are probably trying to find some criminal. Right, that's good. A lot of our hot prospects going out on loan, get some de decent first team experience. He looks pretty good and quite cheap as well. Ooh, 1.1 bargain. Uh, he would definitely be a decent player to get. Uh, nobody that really stands out there. So we'll continue that one. Ah, uh, Chowdhury decided to go Dundee United, that's a shame. Cameron Bruce signed a new contract, which is good. Oh, we've signed Chucky. I had him in my Everton save, he was really good for me, so I'm really buzzing that we've signed him. Very good player to get on a free transfer. Like no one wants Lowry, which is really annoying. Let's try and send him out on loan for the season then. new assistant manager hopefully uh, what's he like professional personality which is good prefers 433 DM wide or a 431 DM attack wide which is basically what we've got in it Near enough. Uh, oh, we've signed Lipusic. He'll be coming in a couple of days' time. Got quite a few players joining us, but quite a few leaving as well. Uh, oh, he's a good player, he is. Not at that price. I'm not paying 15 million for him, though. Right, nearly coming up to the transfer window opening. signed him will be decent cover I wouldn't say he's going to be a first team player but decent cover when needed uh, Cas Casimir another good backup player uh, is he 
better than Wood Rock. Not better than him. Not better than him. We'll cancel that. Right, we'll just release you then. Oh, we can't. Oh, I can't release him. Oh, he's gone on loan. Okay, that's fine. Right, so let's not welcome him. Let's just check him out. So we've got Naroki, who I who we had here before, and played really well. We've uh, Varna in centre defence, so we've managed to get him in on a permanent transfer, which is good. We've got this player here called Darius Lip Lipsiuk. Lipsiuk, very good first touch, very good passing, um, fairly term personality, naturally natural fitness, is very, natural fit fitness is very good, and so, so is acceleration. I cannot get my words out today. I do apologise. Uh, Yami Valencia. Very good technique. Um, fairly ambitious personality. Decent bravery. Decent flair. Very good prospect. Uh, no. Uh, no. We're not selling you either. Send you out alone though. So this will be the summer where we just constantly get offers for Dewhurst until the window closes. David Meller, he's a very good player actually. He's only Gonna cost us three point three million bargain as far as I'm concerned. He definitely will be our star player if he comes in. Another good backup option in midfield. Let's have a look at this. So the Cinch Premiership has dropped one place to ninth place. So that's not good. Uh, Rafe Rovers have moved 911 places to 402nd position in Europe. That's good. Uh, it really in, in clinch, uh, how did Scotland do? Doesn't say. Fair enough. Right. Diego Malaras. Be a good pre transfer signing. So with Joe Bagan. Good left back so decent cover for uh bruce and longello we do need another we do need a decent goalkeeper he wouldn't be first team goalkeeper though if you back up but he's better than what we've got now right so we've got fc balakini balakani who are a kosovo team and then if we beat them, we've got, oh, Jesus Christ, we've got bloody Bath. So we're not going to do very well in the Europe this season, then. Oh, my God. At least that'll be a decent crowd, though, because we've got a new... I oh know we're going to their ground. We'll probably end up going to their ground, but if we go to their ground, we'll still make good money. Uh, dealing with us, no, we're not selling our, one of our best youth prospects. Thank you. Signed uh, Tezegel, who was very highly regarded in last last year's FM. Don't think he's so much now. I think he's uh, not risen so far to the potential that he had put on him. We're beating our uh, transfer record for biggest transfer. How's Maldini doing, by the way? 
So he went to Darmstadt. Uh, he's had a decent season, but yeah, right. Right, they've gone for this player, Drew Power. Probably not very good. Uh, we've had an offer of Deli Alley from St Johnston. Right, 19 days. And then we play our European game. Hopefully I have enough time to play that first game before the end of this episode. Wrexham after Stuart. Do we cash in on Stuart while well, we still can? I think we do. I just don't think he's going to get any better. Try asking for three million for him plus percentage. Nope. Um. Send you out on loan. Right, we've had, uh, we've had a few offers for Ross Stewart. Should we try and push 3 million plus profit in case he does get another chance? Yep, yeah, they're happy with that. So we'll do the same with Wrexham. Oh well, hopefully he'll go to Cardiff. Uh, how much are we signing for? 7 million. So it's taking a bit of a loss, but he is old. So um, we have to take that into account. We're not old, old. He's only 31, but we're going to maybe look to replace him with Hugo Alba. He probably won't come to us, but you never know. Oh, he will come to us then. I think Ho Hoyland stays for this season, but he'll probably be back up for Albert or one of the other strikers that we signed. I can't remember who it is now. Luton Town with an offer for him. Oh, he's actually all right, actually. I thought he'd be rubbish, but he's, he's a good little prospect. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, let's have a look at this. Any determination, determined personality, good aerial reach, can still improve, he's 19. Let's see if he wants to join the mentoring circle. Yeah. Right. Uh, 
Right, okay. He's he's a bit better, so we'll sign you. Uh no, let's try fifteen million. Fifteen million plus thirty percent. Uh, we're, we're not going to negotiate that, sorry. Yep, there you go. Thank you very much. Oh, here we go. Rafe Rovers board has proudly announced the completion of the club's move to the Jimmy Nichols Stadium. During a brief ceremony, the new ground, a spokesman for the board decided, declared that the club anticipated the new stadium to cause a surge of support and interest from the local community. We can hope. Uh, hopefully that will work. The club's objective of building a new stadium is finally being realised and the vision for the future is very much taking shape as a result. So there you go. So we look at club info, facilities. We've now got an 18,171 uh, all-seater stadium. So that's good. We might even be able to get them to expand it already. Uh, let's just expand the stadium. You never know. They might want to do it. If not, at least we've got the option to do that down the road. Ryan Porteous, Scottish International Centre back. Oh no, way, way too much. Not paying that much for a player. Uh, Gary Forrest. They're determined to get him off us, aren't they? All right, we got a new scout in. Calamo hair, didn't I have Calamo hair here? Oh no, maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. No. Nah, 30 years old, not worth it. Pascal Clemens. Right, so is he any better than what we've got already as goalkeeping coach? Yes, he is. Uh, so we've got a fitness coach. No, not as good as him. Probably just as good as him. Have we got any other? We've got three assistant bloody managers. We'll get rid of Stuart McCall. Goalkeeping coach, not as good as him. Uh, do we get rid of another one of our assistant managers? Maybe he's okay for what we need him for. He's not as good, so we'll get rid of him. I think he's the one that the board bloody signed when I weren't happy about. So, yeah, we'll get rid of him. Right, Gary Forrest has gone on loan. I just need to check uh, the responsibilities. So look at this. Uh, get advice from Simon Wilson. Yeah. Uh, probably him. Uh, Christopher John maybe probably better than the other one uh, I suppose technical director even though our DOF is better right 
scouting seems okay transfers yeah that's fine media there we go training tactics Match. Right, and then set pieces. Right, that's that sorted. Quick and easy, doesn't take me long usually. Right, how are we doing for time? 31 minutes so far. This is going to be a long episode, everyone. I'm just letting you know. I want to try and get the rest of this done and then try and get the Europa League conference uh, qualifying, first qualifying round done, both legs. Maybe we won't be able to do it. Maybe I think what we'll do is we'll leave the we'll leave the European games until next episode. We'll just look to get this done as quickly as possible. All right, Hugo Alba. He's I think he's going to be a really good signer for us. He knows how to score, which is what we've been lacking. Oh, uh, yep, that's fine. Right, I mean he got 21 goals last season, granted it was in the La Liga 2, but he is consistently, he, is, he knows how to score, let's have a look at his attributes, finishing's only 13, first touch and uh, dribbling's decent though, penalty take, 13, flair is 16, fairly determined personality, good agility, good acceleration, so yeah, I have high hopes for this young man, that's my dog by the way. This dog literally sleeps 22 hours a day. The only time he doesn't sleep is when I'm trying to sleep. And then he constantly wants to have my attention. Oh, yeah. Like I said, it's like having a child. I don't know why they keep going with these stupid offers for them. Ah, oh, Malia wants to stay. Oh no, we can still. Oh, we can still potentially sign him. I thought that cancelled the transfer there. Right, Yayo Pedro, coach. I don't think he's very good to be honest. He's only got no. He's not worth. He's not worth bringing in. I don't even know why I tried to bring him in. Right, Ferdy Clement Cleason. Uh, is he better than? Let's have a quick look. He's got a lot of fifteens and fourteens, which is good. But he's got. He's pretty good. Let's see what other coaches we've got. Yeah, he's pretty good in what in certain certain ones. He's actually really good. Ah, oh, this is going to be annoying. Do we sacrifice one of our fitness coaches? Probably. All right, we'll get rid of you. Ross Stewart's left. Hope he does well in his future endeavours. Right, we, uh, I think we've convinced the board to let us expand the stadium, which is great. Yeah, 
So we're going to get a 20,385 stadium and it costs us 3.2 million. Um, it will start the end of the season and should be ready by, by the start of next season. So that's good. The club's ambition to qualify for the Europa Conference League would be served by expanding the stadium. With that in mind. So yeah, so hopefully the finances will get better. I'm going to sell Boulder because he's moaning. I don't like moaners at the club, even though he did well in the Scottish Cup game, Scottish Cup final. I don't think he'll go anywhere because he's only just signed a new contract, but I'm just going to put him on the transfer list for now. Right, what I'm going to do is just going to keep forwarding this now um, until the Europa Europa League game and then um, I will save it there so we will start the next start Monday's episode with the start of this season officially Deli Ali's gone, sorely missed. Well, not sorely missed, he didn't really play much in the end, did he? But um, he's always what he's my club mascot. I don't like to sell him, but he was on a high wage, so I thought sad it. I hope you all had a good weekend. I went out on I went out Saturday afternoon. Um was able to get my brother to look after the, the dog for us. So uh me and my girlfriend we went and met me my friends for a bit. Uh nothing too crazy, we just went to one or two one went to like a pub and had some food and stuff and just had a catch up with them. So it was nice, nice to get away out as well, get out away from the dog. I love him to bits, so don't get me wrong, but you know, it's the same with kids, and it you, you look forward to having uh, time away from them. Uh, I feel like that's a decent offer for Dewhurst. I just want to add that. Uh, there we go. I'm just determined to let him go at this point because it's just it's just going to keep going on in it. That's actually a better offer than that one, I think. But we'll just keep the Norwich one anyway, just in case. You might not want to go to Swansea. Right, Mellor's in. Good. He'll be our key player. He's a brilliant player. I remember him on the other FMs. And he's still really young as well, so he's got plenty of potential. We will definitely need to bring in a top-notch goalkeeper to replace Dewhurst. But it's a decent offer for him. We ain't going to get better than that. And also, I'm bearing in mind that he's only got like a year or two left on his contract, so he might be he might just end up leaving on a free. I'd rather get something than nothing for him. Even though I don't want to lose him, he's determined to leave though. Let's try and be 
be a bit cheeky now. Let's see if we can get more. <gasps> oh, okay. Interesting. Right, so now what we do is we reject the other offers. So that one and that one. So we'll end up getting for what we we'll end up getting what we wanted for him in the first place. It's funny how that happens. Diego Maurice, good little backup. Taking a while to process this day. Probably because it's 30th of June, it does tend to take a while. Right, so we've had a few players come back from loan, so now we can look at selling them. Uh, Opa Femi. Devlin. Oku, oh no we won't get rid of him, he's a good player, uh, send him out alone again, send you out, uh, no we won't, we'll get rid of you, uh, and then we'll get rid of you McCurk. Move that camera up, went a bit low there. Monic Billy's gone. We signed Ashby, Harrison, Ashby. Decent cover as right back for Ayano. Suter's gone. Actually, do we even need to bother with it? No, I won't bother. Uh, right, Dewhurst. We need to find a replacement for him. Quick. These a scout. Let's up it again. Uh, let's up it again. No. Right. Down that again. Yeah. 
Brazil International, yeah? Oh, he's 35. Rocco, 26. Delic, too old now. Ivanovic, too old. Too old. I want young goalkeepers. So by that process, we'll get assigned Higgins as well. Right, so hopefully we've got decent replacements for two hearse for quite cheap. Right, let's keep going. Let's just get the next four days done and then we'll call it a day. This has been a fairly long episode. I don't want it to be boring for people. Let me know in the comments section if you like, if you want longer videos or shorter videos uh, for the people that have been watching regularly. Uh, or if you if, if it doesn't matter, just put that as well. Just just give me some sort of comments because I don't get many of them, and I do appreciate the ones I get because it helps me, like one way or another, figure out whether it's working or not. So, uh, right, let me know. Cameron Devlin's gone. That's good. And one out the door. The Kirk is going. Lemons decides to go to Union Berlin. Let's keep going now, not long. Right, so I'm talented young prospect goalkeeper in hit Stephen Higgins. Uh, I think he'll work out really well for us actually. He'll probably be able, by the end of next season, I reckon he'll be first choice goalkeeper for us. Hopefully. Uh, Al was out for three weeks with concussion. Not good. I wanted him to start the next game. Yeah, so we play, next episode, we play our first game in the new stadium. Very important game, European Europa Conference qualification round. Not that we're getting too excited because if we win, we go to play bloody Barcelona next one. be a good player to sign young Scottish prospect oh, 
Hard on me. Right. Uh, actually, we will just play this game. Right, uh, so Durus in goal, Oyano is right back, and a Rocky uh, and Ashby in centre defence. Is, is Ashby a, a centre defender? No, he's not. So, well, he can play there, but are we really lacking in centre backs? We ain't got many players in the squad now, by the looks of it. Oh, well, we'll just have to make do for now, and I'll have to have a look next episode. Uh, yeah, we've got a very, hold on, I don't know what I'll do. Right. See if this will make any difference, it might not. Oh, it has, thank God for that. Right then, that's a bit better. So, do us in goal. Probably playing one of his last, if not his last game for us. Ashby is right back. Uh, Leon King in centre defence with Naraki. Uh, Brannon, who is a young left back. We've got Johnson, uh, who we signed recently. So he's making his debut. Casimir on the right. Lowry in the middle. Mella's making his debut. And Tezgel up front. Uh, let's see how we go. I think it's a very... Rotated team by the looks of it. Might be due to registration issues. Yeah, let's see how we get on. Right, first highlight goes to us. Oh, that's me and nearly scoring there. Ashby in possession now. Now Rocky. King. King again. Oh, bit of bit of slow build up player here. Oh, there you go. Casimir. Oh, a bit ambitious there, mate. Johnson, corner headed out, oh hit the post, offside anyway, oh I thought it was offside, by the way let me know in the comments section what would be a good builder nation save with a one of the low nations in the European Europe needs to be a European nation in quite low down on the rankings, not San Marino. Um preferably I want a nation as well where it's three to five years to nationalise a player, which means basically a player from a, uh from a different country then becoming eligible to play for the national team because I'm gonna be a club and national team joint uh, manager how the hell are we not scored um so yeah i've got a few I've, I've wrote down a few suggestions but yeah just let me know in the comment section if you've got any ones that you might want to suggest i'm currently doing uh a club and nation save with a team in luxembourg quite enjoying that done two seasons so far finished second both seasons um had a couple of decent wins with the luxembourg national team as well including, a, well, I didn't get a win, but I, I drew against Portugal somehow 2-2 two, two as well. Yeah, let me know in the comments section. Trying to get more communication with the, uh, my followers, so uh, help me out. Uh, leave me a comment, question about the save, or suggestion, or, you know, like I said, anything. If you just want to... Let me know who your favourite, who 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 your favourite player in the Rave Rovers team is, uh, on the save so far. Let me know. Like I said, just trying to get uh, some more communication with the people that subscribe to me on here.
we could potentially have a penalty here. Is it going to be a penalty? It is. Good, good, good. We could extend our lead here. Lowry lines it up. He scores. Goalkeeper was very unlucky there. But luckily for us, he scores the penalty. Oh, pardon me. Right, Lowry. Oh, it's the post. Barcelona currently winning 3 0 in their game, so they're likely going to go through. Leon King. Comfortable win for us. Yeah, Barcelona winning 3 0. Players I've never even heard of, probably not even real players. Oh, he was, he was there at the start, so he's a real player. Is he a real player? Jan? No, he's a regen. Good regen, but a regen. Right, can we get another one? Ashby with the cross. Right, Miller to King over the top to Ashby. Ashby has another crack at the cross. He does. Headed out. They've now got the ball. Right. Corner to us. Ooh, good save by their goalie. Free kick, Lowry over the top, floats it in, headed out. King over the top, nah, right. I'm going to give a few people the debut. So Giles is a right winger. We'll put Giles on for Casimir. Edic, Edic is a right back. I'll put him on. Sanderson, not good enough to wear ball with him. Bowie, Bowie is a attacking midfield striker. We'll put Bowie on there. Right, I think that's it. There we go. Give a few of these youngsters some rare first team football. Uh, great occasion for them as well. There's no pressure on them. We're winning 3 0. So they can. Uh, or to make mistakes and not worry about it too much. There we go. Morais. Great ball to Lowry. Lowry. Oh, look at that. Casimir. I was just thinking then, wasn't Casimir taken off? But yeah, they haven't done the substitution yet. Right, so now they come on. Right, hopefully one of them can impress now. Maybe get a goal or assist. Got a corner. Headed out. There we go. Four nil. Nice way to end the episode. Leon King. Apparently Clark was spotted. Harrison Ashby uh, and Lowry might be in the next Scotland squad.
Right then, on that note, I'm going to call it a day. Um, thank you as always. Thank you for putting up with this really long episode. Um, but yeah, thank you as always. I'll be back on Monday, fresh start to the season. We'll have the second leg of the Europa uh, Conference uh, game and then we'll have the, the big game against Barcelona. So yeah, so enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.